God bless. Welcome back to Twist and Shout. I am Shar and I am shocked. Someone, may God bless their soul, decided to say, where are the perm box girls? And everybody went crazy like, yeah, where are they? What are they up to? And then to get hit with the biggest tea of the year that these perm box girls really weren't perm box girls, that they were natural, that we were deceived. And y'all, let's think about how, because some people may say, really, that's not that deep. Sis, yes, it is. Because I know from personal experiences that when even when I started doing my own perm in high school, your whole thought process was your hair needs to turn out like what's on this box. But then for me, and the I wish I had some pictures. I hope I find some pictures to show y'all. The hair never turned out that way. And you would, and me personally, I would try. I would break the rules because you know they said minimum every six weeks. Man, sometimes I do five weeks. Sometimes I did four weeks. Um, sometimes I would do heat. Sometimes I would leave the perm on longer. And I still have that damage to this day. Like y'all know when I say my edges are soft and I can't even grip and braid them and they won't get no longer than this. That's because when I got to this part, I would sit that perm up here for a long time trying to get what I saw. Like I'm like, dang, their edges slit. And come to find out that I could have stuck with the free 99 um, straightening comb that my mom was doing with my hair anyway, where my hair was thriving. And, excuse me, I'm getting excited. My hair was thriving and long, but I was deceiving to thinking you're doing it wrong. That's not right. There's a better way. You should look like this. And y'all, and then more tea, someone mentioned this hurts as bad as we find out that Moesha Brandy braids was a wig. And I said, I didn't know that. What was I? Y'all, the deception is real because I just, this is mind blowing. But let me just say right quick, just for a second. And don't, please don't be mad, y'all. This gets, th this is the natural hair community. This is perm relax. It's like, we up one. And let me tell you why. Because the main thing that people were trying to drill into y'all heads about y'all hair, that something was wrong with it, that you need to fix it. They use lies and deception to get you to think that there was something greater or something more you should have been doing to your hair when God gave us exactly what we need that grows out of our scalps. And I'm not I'm not going to sit here and say and be completely biased that relaxing someone's hair or perming someone's hair wasn't beneficial to someone but a chemical is a chemical. And a lot of people like me, I have permanent damage trying to convince myself that something was wrong with how I was doing something and what I was doing to my hair. And my hair should look like that. And I thank God for maturity. Like this generation is a different breed. And I thank God for that. Like we like, hold on, let me do my research. Hold on. Let me think for myself because I come from an era growing up where whatever was plastered in front of you, that was okay. That was the norm. And not to say that don't happen right now because it does, but at, during that era, like 90s, like whatever celebrity, just wear this, buy this. And y'all, when we look back on this stuff, it was like, it will not even cute then. But this hair thing, y'all, people have lost their hair. People have permanent damages to their scalp. People have lost self-esteem. People had to permanently wear wigs and braids because of the damage of a perm. Because someone decided to put real beautiful, pretty girls in front of us on a box and say, you use this to get this. And now we're stuck with permanent damage. And shout out to them because they all are beautiful. And they all was bold enough to say that was the end. And they said they pressed our hair. You know, they just flat ironed and did whatever they need to, gelled it up to make it look like this is the norm. And it's not. That is so sad and disturbing, yet kind of relieving because even myself, y'all, y'all, if y'all seen my last couple of videos, I was so frustrated and aggravated with my hair to the point where I'm like, man, I'm about to cut it. Or maybe I do need to try a perm. Good honey, this right here was like an answer prayer. Like, okay, God, you know what? 
Weeping may endure for a night, but joy definitely comes in the morning. And guess what? I took a hair break. I got my little, you know, braids in, my little crochet. And I'm like, okay, I feel better, you know? But just the thing, I don't have any people to say, I can't do this. This can't be done. And it's more so a matter of resources, right? Because the more you know and the more that's available to you, the more you can deal with. But you get this, here's the easy way. Take these steps in this process that will be, what, 30 minutes an hour, and then your hair is going to look like this. The lies. And y'all, I remember trying so hard one time that my hair fell out, and it was coming out in school, and people was walking behind me and saying, you got a bald spot? My hair, my scalp used to pulse, like pus, like ooze, because I left the perm on too long, because I'm like, it got to be straighter than this. It got to be straighter than this. So y'all, I took this. Excuse me, I took this really personal, like, oh, man, if only somebody was there to say, no, sis, that's not the way. There's a better way. You can do something else. Like, I don't know what, to, like, I had to, <laughs> I'm going to go read my Bible and pray after this. Like, this is big. <sighs> Y'all, please excuse me, because normally I like I got a little more sense. But this kind of was like, yo, just think about even, because not even just me, y'all. I know somebody has, I know people personally that has damage so permanent and, permanent and so bad, they cannot come back from it. And I thank God that I have hair on my head and I got enough edges where you can't see my scalp. But somebody out there has probably can't even grow hair ever again. Or they probably haven't forever covered up their scalp. Maybe they got damage um, around here and here. Like, that's messed up. That's really messed up. But now that we're older and we know better, we know that everything you see ain't what it is. Like beyond hair, you know, like celebrity news and their lifestyle. It's like we smarter than that. And we have to continue to be smarter than that. But guess what? I'm not going to say that just because we're natural that we don't have those issues and problems. Because no, sis, we are the, we still being deceived. I was deceived. These products work like this. Get these results. It's the same thing in reverse. At first it was... Use this product to get sleek, stylish, long hair and look like this girl. And now it's, you want the best curls. You want the most popping curls. Use this natural hair product. It's just, you know, it's a cycle. But thank God for growth and maturity. And I pray that now people will actually think for themselves and do your research. Do your research. And honey, I wish somebody had said, What's up with them perm box girls 10 years ago, 20 years ago? Okay, because I'm pretty sure that by the time they were sitting on the uh, shelves, even with me, that they probably was already in their teenagers, probably old enough to talk and fend for themselves, which social media kind of came out a little after that. But in this case, you can see the pro of social media because... Then it was just what's up on TV, whatever you see on the store, and you fell for it, and you tried it, and boom. Sad. I thank God that I think I only had two kitty perms in my whole life. The rest of them was adult perms. And honey, people used to say I needed super because my hair was thick. So not only did was I deceived into thinking I need to use a perm or relaxer, I had a nerd to get super. And let somebody do super. Like, that's probably why this is like this. Y'all, I can't even braid and grip none of this because it's so soft and it's so brittle. And it's just like my scalp is just bad. It's just a bad scalp. And I know some people got more and, and more significant and more complex issues than I. So I try not to complain. God knows I shouldn't complain. Because like I said, there's people that go through more stuff than me. There's people that is been deceived into thinking there's something wrong with their diet or they got an issue or illness. And then that's a whole nother market too. Cause medicine, sick patients make money. Hello. Open up y'all eyes, y'all. I don't mean to preach, but ask God for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Keep God first. And let's not continue to fall in this cycle of deception. Bots, perm girls, perm box girls, whatever the title is i hope if you guys watch this i hope you guys are prosperous i hope god bless y'all and i thank y'all for showing what your hair really is in its natural state because someone needed to see that and i'm grateful i love you guys god bless take care Bye.